Kayla, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to do part two of my reaction to Tiffany Michelle's videos. Uh, she has been reviewing Mosey Baby versus Make a Mom product. She appears to ha may have some affiliation with Mosey Baby. Um, but we're gonna take a look at her video. This video is done in collaboration with makeamom.com. Um, you guys can check out the makeamom.com products. I'll have the link down below in the description box. And I have a discount code for free shipping at checkout, which is Sheila Free. Free, so make sure you use my discount code. So before we get into hearing her thoughts on these two products, let's go ahead and make sure we're subscribed to the channel if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. And also hit the thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Yes. <laughs> Hey there and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and today I'm going to be comparing two China Conceive products. Both of these products are at-home insemination kits, one from Mosey and one from Make a Mom. If you've been following my journey any at all, you'll know that I've already used the Mosey Baby Kit and I absolutely love it. And I have tried a similar product from the Make a Mom company. This is a different Make a Mom product, so I wanted to go ahead and do a review like I did for the other one. The other one was called the Impregnator from Make a Mom and this one is called the Cryro Baby. I do have the same exact Mosey Baby Kit as I had before. I will be showing them though to compare them both in the video today. So to start with, it is just the basic marketing comparison. If you follow my journey, you'll know that I already did in a little unboxing, so I've already seen both of these products, but I wanted to show it in this video as well, the difference in the packaging and the marketing of both of them. But it does come with instructions on the back and the listed product in the tube on the front. So it opens just off the top and then right inside sitting in here is the tube that is the product itself. So this product is called the Cryro Baby Home Insemination Kit from Make a Mom and this is, this is it. This is the product. These are your instructions. They have very, very thorough and detailed instructions. They also have support groups and extra resources and support and you're maximizing your chances for conception tips. I love them. They're actually pretty quirky and they make it kind of fun to go through the directions. The I great thing about Make a Mom is that they have all of these resources on Make a Mom com so they have support groups on there like links to different Facebook groups they have like extensive ex instructions on their website there's videos um, so if you go to make there's so much information on um, what to do and you can always just easily go to make and see those instructions instead of having to like fumble around and hope that you can find this paper that you're probably gonna end up throwing away or throwing into a box somewhere and don't even remember where it's at I can tell you the first time I was using my Mosey baby kit I was obviously kind of in like a hustle mode and kind of stressed out and reading these instructions I don't know it just made me feel a little bit better because I was able to laugh at them So I definitely want you guys to read them all the way through if you decide to get Mosey because they're super cute So I just want to say common sense is that you should not be in a hustle mode while you're doing this You want to do this at a time when you have a good like half hour to really do this whole process to be able to put your specimen in the syringe insert it with your hips elevated and just lie there and relax for 20 to 30 minutes that's when you want to do this process you don't want to do it when you're in a hustle and i disagree with her like literally what have you ever bought think about this what have you ever bought where you enjoyed reading through the instructions no one enjoys reading through pages of instructions like that's not that's not a thing most people most people they get something and they kind of like don't even read the instructions they glance at them and they're gonna do it how they're gonna do it right so i think that the less instructions the simpler the better no no one enjoys reading instructions what is she talking about there's also messages and underneath all of the product in the box, which inside the box is super cute too. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they have a little section that has like questions. I just want to point out that inside this box, you're paying for all this packaging, right? Like you're, you're paying extra money for packaging. But inside this, you know what it tells you? If you have questions, go to their website. Like you, you needed the, you need the, the box to tell you to go to the website where you bought the product to, See what I'm saying? Like, 
why do you want to pay extra money just for packaging to tell you things that are common sense? So they've definitely got their marketing scheme and everything on par. I really think the Mosey Baby gives you that sealed, finished, finalized product look. I mean, it just feels quality, you know what I mean? So going you're right they do have their marketing scheme it is a marketing it is a marketing scheme they have that on par right like don't fall like you don't need to fall for like overly like being overly marketed to like ask yourself some simple questions like does the product do what i need to do is it easy to use like make a mom hits all of those boxes like there's not this huge marketing scheme because they don't need to have a marketing scheme um literally like their product works their products are affordable they're simple to use they are um reusable they're awesome just saying so here is the main difference yes <laughs> so the make a mom cryro baby i would say is literally twice the size of one of the mosey babies first off girl you're married I'm sure you've seen bigger things, I would hope. But secondly, as far as the two products, like the the Cryo Baby is like almost basically double the size, right? This is awesome because everyone isn't the same size. Everyone doesn't have the same amount of length to their cervix. Um, so this allows you more than enough space to be able to do that you do not have to insert this whole thing inside of you you're more than likely unless you have like a super vagina like you're not going to insert this whole thing inside of yourself but depending on the person depending on how much padding and fluff you have depending on a lot of different variables it may be longer a little bit longer for one woman than another um, and then also mind you if you're doing this yourself this allows you more space to be able to get where you need to go especially like I'm gonna just keep it funky with you guys I'm plus size so I've got a belly you know like we got we got things we gotta maneuver around okay so this gives you enough space to be able to do that um you don't have to insert the whole thing in, inside of yourself but this product makes sure that it's gonna be a better fit for most most people whereas like this if you happen to have you know a longer distance to your cervix you may not even actually get to your cervix with this that's the important part and i will tell you from experience the mosey inserts very similar to what like a tampon would insert like and it doesn't hurt or feel uncomfortable whatsoever this past cycle i did intend to use both of these products but the timing just wasn't right and i really didn't want to use them and waste them so i want to wait until the next cycle so i hit my peak and then i can try them both so i haven't used them yet so i can't tell you if they feel any different yet but I do just want to point out that these syringes you know if you guys can see that the cryo baby is really slightly smaller in diameter than the mosey baby right, so she mentioned how the mosey baby inserts like a tampon so I'm actually going to show you guys a tampon all right so here is a tampon right and here's the mosey baby now remember i just told you guys i just showed you guys that the cryo baby is smaller in diameter than than the multi baby right so this is smaller in diameter it's longer in length but the diameter is smaller so if we look in comparison to a tampon to the cryo baby you'll see that like this tampon is way bigger than the cryo baby the cryo baby is actually going to be easier to insert because it's smaller than a tampon like and literally if we even just take the tampon out and this, mind you here's the other thing logically right when you put a tampon in a tampon expands i'm sure that we're all familiar with this concept right if we take a tampon right and we put it into water that same tampon expands it expands to this size you guys this size okay I, I just want I had to show you guys that so you guys understand like what she's saying logically doesn't make sense like so there's a couple things to 
stand out to me and like for me like things just have to completely make sense right so if you're doing a review on a product that's based upon like features and apples to apples or like you know what are the features of the product and how does it make sense that's one thing I can get that but if you did an unboxing video which a few days or weeks prior to her posting a review video on the Mosey versus the cryo baby she had posted a video unboxing the Mosey baby and the cryo baby so i guess my thing is this if you did a video where you unbox both of these products you only used one of these products why then come and do a review on this versus that i mean i I, I get it it's because of the coins you know you you want to get the affiliate money probably or whatever off of like talking about the multi baby I get it but it doesn't kind of make sense that you are you did a review where you stated that you only had used one product and you hadn't used the other product and you, but you already had unboxed these products you see what I mean like it doesn't it doesn't make sense if you're going to do an unboxing like everyone realizes that in an unboxing video the person hasn't used the products but when you come back and you do a follow-up video where you unboxed it and now you're reviewing this versus that but you're telling us that you only use one of them so you're not just reviewing them solely based off of the specifications of each product you have experience with one and not the other but you have commentary on the other one it doesn't really make sense so that was something that kind of stuck out to me i think that it would have been more valuable to see her talk about how she used both of them um like i said i mean um she has not um she hasn't posted anything about getting pregnant as of yet um so and this was like two months ago so if she has she hasn't really talked about it um so it's hard to really say that well the mosey baby is better based upon the fact that it worked for you because we don't really know if it worked for her um so it's just you know what i mean like it's just like certain things like that where i feel like it just would have been more useful if she had really actually tried out both products and given them a fair shake um overall of course i feel like the cryo baby is better um makeamom.com has so many different products and that is one thing that hopefully you guys get from both of these videos part one and part two if you haven't seen part one go back and watch it i'll link it down below um they have a lot of different products so no matter what your personal comfort level is and you know the type of relationship you're in uh the type of product you want to use they have a plethora of different products that will work for you um so i would highly recommend checking out makeamom.com if there's any other videos that you guys see and you want me to react to um feel free to leave them down below in the in the uh comments and i may do it uh but thank you guys for watching as always and i will see you guys soon for another video bye